Hi, I'm Qingwen Huang, and I'll present our work on weekly supervised learning for joint image denoising and protein localization in cryo-EM. Particle picking is a critical step in the structure determination pipeline of cryo-EM. A successful 3D reconstruction of protein of interest usually requires back projection of hundreds of thousands of 2D projections at different orientations. A typical dataset usually has thousands of micrographs, and each micrograph can contain tens to a few hundreds of such projections. These projections need to be identified and extracted. Currently, there are automatic and semi-automatic algorithms that have proven to work well on datasets with relatively higher signal-to-noise ratio, or bigger size proteins. Especially, convolutional neural network-based methods such as Topaz and Cryolo are very promising. However, these methods still yield suboptimal results under extremely low SNR conditions, which is especially common for smaller size proteins. This results in many missed particles or high false positive rate. Yet manual picking is especially time consuming. To this end, we propose a framework that is able to pick particles under low SNR conditions. To do this, we want to connect observed noisy data with unobserved clean data and its associate label. Specifically, we can write out the posterior joint likelihood of plain pixel value X and its associate label L, given noisy pixel value Y and its surroundings omega Y, to be proportional to the product of the noise model, the prior belief, and the label model. We have two major assumptions. The clean pixel value X depends on both the noisy value Y and its surroundings omega Y, and the label only depends on the clean signal X. We can model our prior belief as a multivariate Gaussian. And we also assume zero mean Gaussian noise, which is a common assumption in cryo-EM. Following the assumptions, we can train a network to map the context omega y to the mean and covariance of clean signal, and subsequently map the estimated statistics to the label L. And we solve x and L by mi maximizing the likelihood. In convolutional neural network formulation, this is formulated as a cascaded network, which includes image denoising and particle detection, it is able to leverage complementary information from these two tests, leading to mutual improvements. Note we are performing detections through segmentation. The denoising branch estimates the mean and standard deviation of the underlying noiseless data distribution from noisy inputs and feeds the approximated data statistics into the detection branch. The segmentation branch identifies particle locations based on information from the denoising branch and in return improves the denoising output as segmentation accuracy increases. The input to the segmentation branch includes the patch itself and its augmented pair, which are used for consistency regularization. A key assumption is that the input patch can be separated into foreground and background. The foreground is a particle. The auxiliary classifier is used to aid the segmentation. If segmentation is correct, the classifier will be able to classify segmented image correctly. For more details regarding the framework, please refer to the original paper. We evaluate the performance of our of our framework on three different datasets, one single particle analysis dataset and two crowd ET datasets, all at different SNR levels. Details of each dataset is provided on the slides. Here we show the denoising performance on 10% frames of single particle analysis. Our framework is able to significantly improve the denoising result under low SNR conditions. We also calculated two peak signal to noise ratios, values using full dose image and low pass filter full dose image as ground truth. PSNR1 is calculated against full dose, and PSNR2 is calculated against low pass filter full dose. Here is the denoising re results of cryo ET series image. In the bottom zoomed in views, we are able to see particles more clearly. We evaluated detection performance using precision recall and F1 scores. Our method with consistency regularization is able to identify more particles with lower false positive rate. We also provide some visualization of our results. Here we're showing the segmentation mask. And in all three cases, our algorithms are able to identify more particles, and this is especially more obvious for 10304 and 10499. To conclude, in this work, we presented a joint learning framework that is able to identify particles under very low SNR conditions, performs image noising without the need of pair noisy images, and does not require large amounts of training data. Thank you.